Well, good morning. Praise God. God bless you this morning. God keep you. Uh, thank you for tuning on to me once again. Praise God. I just want to um, share with you right quick. Um, when uh, I had to go to work on Sunday and my car was down, still is down. And I'm going to call in. Them know my car is down. The bus is running, starting at 9, 30, 10, and supposed to be at work at 9 and everything. And the manager, supervisor wasn't there and everything. And I kept calling and and um, it said she's not here yet. So I said, give me her cell phone number. Give me the manager's cell phone number. And I called her and told her the situation and everything. She said, well, I'll come pick you up. I said, really? She said, yeah. I said, well, thank you. I told her where I was and everything. And she came and picked me up. And she said, what's going on with your car? <clears throat> I said, I don't quite know yet, but I will find out. Um, you know how um, I said uh, I put, you know, starters on my car, past cars before. And, um it all changed, they tuned up on my past cars before, I flushed radiators out and stuff like that. Did that before, my, my past car, the you know, oldest car, 83, 89, 88 cars, and 74 cars that I had. And I said, well, this car, these up-to-date cars in the 2000s and everything, it's like, I gotta find out what's really going on with these cars. I gotta, you know, get in the 2000 uh, mode, moment, you know, time to figure out what's going on with these new cars. And um, just, I told her, you know, my, um, my trunk light come on and my uh, inside light come on, but my headlight don't come on, my horn don't blow, and the radio don't blow. And all I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about alternator. You know, my mind, alternator, alternator, you know, got to be the alternator. You know, I mean, because I get a jump for the start, but minute, you know, you know, try to start on my own without the jump, it won't it won't turn low, it won't do nothing. You know, just, just dead, it don't, don't do no kind of sound at all. And I said, if it was the starter, the starter made some kind of click noise, you go eh, 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 over and over something, you know, if it was the starter. I said, it's not the starter. So I'm just going to take, I told her I'm going to take my chance, you know, and, and do, and, you know, get on my alternator. She said, oh, they shoot each other about some house and everything. I said, if it's not a rent home, you know, I'm not interested in no more rent houses and everything, you know. She said, okay, it's a nice neighborhood. I said, I'm pretty sure it is, you know, I mean, that's what I'm looking forward to, or a nicer you know, better, bigger house, you know, I said, it's going to be all right, you know, God got me like that, and so I got to work, and they said, oh, how'd you get here, where your car at, I said, I thought you was off, I'm like, man, I got to know buses running and everything, you know, I said, I got to ride, I said, my car down for right now, they said, what's wrong with it, and I'm, you know, talking, you know, same thing what I told the manager and everything, you know, they said, it's alternated. I said, I believe that is right. Thank you. <laughs> you know, and, um, I said, let's get to work now. Come on, let's come on do this. You know, let's come on to work. And they said, you know, but I don't even know how to change the tire. You know how to fix cars. I said, I know how to do a little bit, you know, from my dad. You know, my dad used to be a mechanic. Not only he used to be, you know, a musician and travel all around the world. And then he used to be a, you know, uh, famous and everything, you know. And not only that, you know, not only that, he used to be a minister. You know, he also he used to be a mechanic. You know, he's work. You know, he's working gas station. You know, working on people's going to gas station. You know, when he went to school and worked in the gas station, and then he got tired of working for people and got his own business. You know, had his own thing. You know, he called the people to work on that car. That's what he was doing for a living. You know, the last thing what he was doing for living. You know, working on cars and mechanics. So I learned, you know, a few things from him. I wish I would have just kept on, you know, being with him every day. You know, when summer school and everything was out, I would know how to rebuild a, a engine and transmission, and brakes and all that stuff. I would, I would learn new all that stuff. I would just stick with it. You know, I was young at the time, but I, I remember some things. I know one day I'm going to have my own car, and I need to know these things. And I want to know these things. You know, some told me to go to school. It's not too late to go back to school if I want to go do this mechanic stuff. You know, praise God. Anyway, I said, I'm a little bit, you know, and I was telling them how to change the tire. You just say you just unscrew the bolts off the, uh, you know, wheel, don't, 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 don't take the wheel all on, screw all the way off, you know, then jack it up. When you get it jacked up, you finish taking the bolts off the wheel, and you know, you're tired, then put another tire and put the bolts on, tight enough, and you let it down and tighten them all the way up when the tire's on the ground, and put your cap on, whatever, and that's that. They said, wow, are you sure? I'm like, it's only as simple as that. You know, just try, you won't know until you try, you know, t changing tires is, is really easy. And then this girl, the girl said, well, I need my radiator flesh. She looked at me, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to do nobody's call now. I'm not licensed to do, but I will do them. I will do my own. I will do them on my own to do my own. So I say, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to do my own. I'm going to take the, you know, alternate off and everything, you know. I got my socket. I got my racket. Um, I got a wrench. So get the wires off, you know, 
or where to uh, raise my rent to get the wires off my fascinator and unscrew them other bolts and you know take the use I'm gonna get a new one I might get a rebuild I don't know uh, what I'm doing my main thing my, my mind is on just getting it off jacking that car up jacking that car up getting up under there you know get my rent get out of my racket wrench and you know socket and do what I do I'm trying to put it on YouTube. I'm trying to put it on YouTube. That's a good idea. Try to put, put it on YouTube. Let y'all see me work up under my car. Praise God. But anyway, I just want to just share that with you right quick. You know, praise God. Just thank God for giving me the knowledge and, you know, and knowing to do what I do, what I do know. Praise God. I just want to share with you out the, uh, I'm going to read out the King James Bible. Talking about, uh, you know, basically thanks. Thanks. Giving God thanks and, you know, um, uh, being confident, now like I'm gonna be confident. So when I jack up this car and take this off later, I'm gonna be confident. You know, this is on my mind to do. Whatever's on my mind to do, I can do. That's just why I always say I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. God gonna be with me. God gonna help me. Praise God. But anyway, I'm gonna start with Philippians chapter one. I'm gonna start with verse two. It says, "Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord." Jesus Christ, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy for your fellowship and the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ, even that it is me, for me, it, it, even as it is meet for me to think this of you all because I have you in my heart and as much as both in my bounds and in the defense of confirmation confirmation of the gospel ye all the partakers of my grace for God is my record how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ and this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. Praise God. That's in, I just read out the King James uh, Bible, first, I mean, King James Bible, Philippians, Philippians chapter 1, I read verse uh, 1 through 9, and I want to um, also share with you, um, I'm going to read out my NLT Bible, you know, basically talking about Thanksgiving, just, just thank God, you know, just being thankful all the time, you know, um, I'm start with uh, you know, talking about the living, living by the spirit, living by the spirit power. Um, Ephesians chapter five verse fifteen. I'm gonna start. It says, "So be careful how you live. Don't live like fools, but like those who are wise. Make the most of every point, opportunity. Make the most of every opportunity." In these evil days, I don't act foolishly, but understand what the Lord wants you to do. Don't be drunk with wine, because that will ruin your life. Instead, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Singing psalms and hymns hmm, and spiritual songs among yourself and making music to the Lord in your heart. And give thanks. Verse 20 says, and give thanks for everything to God, not, I mean, to everything, everything to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's also in Psalm 34, verse 1. Also, you can read it in, I'm giving thanks to God. Just thank, just thank Him, not just for Thanksgiving, just thank Him all the time. Praise God. Uh, you can read uh, Colossians, um, um, Chapter 31, verse 17, talking about thanksgiving, thanks to God, you know, be thankful, you know, just thank, thank, thank you, Jesus, for all that you have and what he has done for you, even when you don't have it, just be thankful, you know, thank God, you know, I just thank God for the favor, I thank God, I'm not a rock the bus, I thank God, you know, for putting this in my, you know, head, praise God, giving me these senses for a reason, you know, praise God, and God bless you all, and I just pray that you would just have a wonderful Thanksgiving, you know, and 
And I just say Thanksgiving just was a wonderful day, wonderful life, and be thankful, you know, for all that God has done for you, because nothing works without God. You know, just in case I don't mention Thanksgiving on that day, I might be under my car that day, I don't know, after I cook or get my cook on and pray to God, and, um, you know, I'm going to get on it, and um, I keep in mind what uh, happened, you know, when, after I get, when I get done, and after I get done with my car, I pray to God, I just thank God that, you know, that I'm not ashamed to get up under my car, and I'm not too clean to get dirty, praise God, I would get up under there, you know, and do what I do, praise God. Nothing I ain't done before. Well, I haven't done all days before. I might have done starters and gave myself tune-ups before, oil change, and took my radiator off, stuff like that, flush my radiator. But, you know, it's always something new. Be good. I mean, I, I like to do different things, experience different things, to do different things. And this will be different to me because old amount of cars and, and cars of the 70s and 80s and 90s, you know, it's like I can just get to and do what I do. But uh, these new cars in the 2000s, and I got to, you know, really get to wonder what's going on. How do I get to that, to this, to this part, to that part? But it's going to be done, you know. And I guess I know how to jack up a car, and I'm not ashamed to get a bunch of there. You know, a lot of females, they don't know how to work on their own car, you know, because I don't, you know, sometimes you may need a man to do things, but sometimes when a man's not around at that time, and some man don't even know how to. Don't know nothing about that. Don't even know nothing about car. They'll take it to the shop and they get their car fixed somewhere, you know, because they don't even know. Some don't know about no cars, but, I mean, I have to know. If I'm driving a car, and it's mine. I own the car. You know, I must know how to do something, you know, besides checking oil and transmission fluid, putting water in the radiator. Besides that, I need to know and to do, you know, other things on the car if I'm going to be driving my car. Praise God. You know, any cars that I own, you know, it, it's going, I got to make sure, I got to do what I got to do. You know, that is all to it, you know, especially, you know, when it's your own, to me, when it's my own. You know, that whatever I can tell me different, you know, these shops trying to tell me something different, just get make, make more money off me, I don't think so, they don't know what I know. Because I've been told them, no, that's not it. That's not it. I've been told them right there, that's not it. You know, this is what's wrong with it. You know, they don't want to charge you more money. I mean, I don't have the money to waste. I don't have the money to throw away like that. You know, I get up under there, take this thing off, get it rebuilt. If I get it, it's cheaper to get it rebuilt, I know that. But, you know, if I want to get a new one, I can just get a new one. Praise God, at least I know what's new. At least I know what's on new. Praise God, I usually like new stuff on my things anyway. When some play out, I don't like putting new stuff on. I like, you know, to put new stuff. But if I have to get it rebuilt, you know, then I just got to do what I got to do. But God, no, and I know God's with me on this, you know, and praise God that, you know, he did me to share it with you, praise God, but that's what I do, praise God, anyway, because, uh, you know, I have to always be dependable on myself, depend on me, you know, I depend on people, I don't depend on men, I guess, you gotta, just like they're not around, do what I gotta do, a lot of things I can do, a lot of things women can do, a lot of things, you know, it's like, women like, I don't need a man to do, I can do this myself, I don't know what I need a man for, and they don't know I do it their own self, and I'll do it better than them, praise God. Some of them, praise God. But anyway, I just thank you, Jesus. God going to help me. God going to be on my side. God going to be with me on this like he's with me on anything else. Praise God. And I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit because it's not in me to do. I mean, so anyway, on the paper, it's never last one of you. Thank you for watching and tuning on. I'm going to pray for you and your family. They be blessed. Heavenly Father, I pray for those that's watching. God bless you and God keep you. And I pray you give thanks to God no matter what you do, no matter what you face, no matter what it look like, good or bad. I just pray you just keep giving God thanks. Thank God for whatever situation. Thank God that you're going through something. Thank God you were here. Thank God he woke you up this morning. Thank God for the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the food. Thank God if you don't have none yet. Just thank God. Thank God that he's going to make a way for you in Jesus' name. You just believe and hold on and keep your faith. And don't give up hope. Because there is hope. Whatever you hoping for, whatever you wishing for, you know, whatever you planning to have or to get, you know, just keep God first in the mix of it all. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray to each and every last one of you have a blessed day. Have a blessed Thanksgiving. Upcoming you know, a couple of days from now, praise God, thank Him now, praise God, thank you for the Thanksgiving food, thank you, Jesus, 
Thank you for the food. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I rebuke every sickness that is in disease right now. And I pray that whoever, whoever sick or feeling bad and not feeling good, having these mind brain headaches and mind brain, you know, mind brain headaches and back pain, lower back pain, or hand, arm, or your leg, your foot, whatever it is, you know, I just pray the Lord just remove that pain in Jesus' name and heal you right where you are in Jesus' name. God bless you. When you is here by His strike, you is here. Glory be to God. And I pray for each and every last one. You may be going somewhere, come in, getting off work, or going to work. You know, no matter where you're going, no matter where you're facing, I just pray the Lord just protect this angel and guide you and lead you wherever you're going back home safely. In Jesus' name, I pray He'll just guard His angels around you and keep you and straighten you and get, um, make a way out of no way for you. In Jesus' name, glory be to God. God bless you and God keep you. Remember, God love you and so do I. God bless you. Amen. 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 Praise God. So until next time, I'll see you later. I gotta go. Gotta go. Remember, God love you and so do I. Take care.